Hello and welcome to another Carlito Reviews. Today <laughs> I have a really fun thing to show you. Uh, I don't know if you know, but I've done a fair amount of reviews for uh, a very well-known blog called Oscar Liang's blog. Uh, if you've if you've never heard of Oscar Liang and you are in FPV, you've probably been living under a rock. Now, uh, Oscar Liang, if you haven't visited his blog and his uh, uh, page, you can find them also in the description below. But the funny thing is, today I'm going to review a product that was uh, kind of made with. Oscar and that is Oscar's backpack VTX by Ac Ac Technology <laughs> Let's delve right into it shall we it's so funny for me to be reviewing something that uh, Oscar did Let's uh, take out the Ack backpack. Quality looks uh, very nice. And from what I understand, this is a device that can be uh, put in directly in the back part of your camera. Uh, I'm not sure if it works for really small cameras like this, but uh, it might do. Actually, yeah, it does. So in theory, you can just replace the little uh, screws that you have here in the back of the uh, Foxier camera and then place this one on top and tighten in the screws. Now this comes with those uh, new connector things it's pretty nice actually uh, and uh, so it's a switchable one uh, 25 milliwatts to 200 milliwatts uh, you can uh, change everything with the one button in the back uh, supports fit mode but I think as well it supports uh, smart audio. So the green cable here in the back, that one, supports smart audio. Now I thought that uh, they would have some type of, um, you know, the NBIT, the GST SH connection so we can plug directly into the camera, but it seems that the wires at the end are just. Um, empty oh I can see as well in the package this is probably what uh, is meant to go on the camera has a little uh, extra bit that you would put here on the back of the camera so this connects like this so it's not directly in the camera itself you know because it might short out it's pretty good I like it. Uh, what I want to check first before I completely mount it is I want to check what the actual um, output from this is. And for that, we're going to be using an Immersion RC power meter. Just need to connect a same uh, power in the back. Uh, and in order to test this, I'm going to put it in this lovely new raggy frame that Mr. Raggy kindly sent to me. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of soldering here uh, and then test it out and see how it goes. Okay, so we've now connected the power meter to the VTX and then we connected the VTX to the um, flight controller that is gonna provide five volts. Uh, five volts in and then it has five volts out on the other side be careful not to if you haven't plugged in the uh, five volts out cables remember to uh, make sure that they're not touching each other or anything else 
And now the only thing we need to do is to connect a LiPo battery to power up VTX. And we should be able to see these numbers here change. So battery in. You can see that the uh, VTX has turned on and the power output is coming out at 42 milliwatts. Uh, let me just check if this is correct. Uh, yeah, so it has a 30 dB uh, attenuator right there. And yeah, you can see that the power is now going down 35, 34 milliwatts. So it's a bit higher than the spec that is said 25 milliwatts. But um, also this is accounting with uh, oh, it's coming down as well. Uh, and this is accounting with the, um, well, when, when you have a, an antenna, you're probably gonna get a, a, lit, a little bit loss in the power output anyways. 27, 26 actually is coming right down to 25 milliwatts, that's pretty good. 24, well, will it go lower? Let's wait for a second and see where it rests at, 23. I'm concerned now, 22, will it go to zero? Let me just double check if the antenna connection is well put, it is. No, sorry, I just uh, pressed the button there, I think. Uh, changed the frequency. Yeah, and I think it's stable now, 23, 22, no, it keeps going down. Let's see where it ends, 21 milliwatts. Twenty. Dun, 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 dun. Nineteen. It's quite odd, actually. Is it because it's uh, heating up that's, you know, losing perception? Not sure. Eighteen. Let's see how hot it is. It's not. It's not too hot. It's okay. It's slightly warm. 16, 26, 25, actually, oh, 11, yeah, so when I press it, I guess it attenuates the voltage, and then it goes back to 25, 24, so, yeah, I guess uh, when you're flying, let's move it around a little bit, yeah, I guess when you're flying, it's gonna retain those values, hopefully. Uh, let's go to the next uh, sequence, which is our next uh, power, which I guess is, oh, it's 200. So normally you press and hold. Uh, nope. Let me check on the manual.
five seven something or five eight something uh, and that's dumbed down to 241 but if you're on high um, high channels let me press one more uh, yeah the power output is a lot more not sure why I've seen that several VTXs do this uh, so if you need more power for some reason uh, just go to a higher channel uh, right, uh, shall we check uh, what we can uh, fly this like? Yeah, to see exactly what it looks like in uh, the VTX. So we're gonna go out to the field, test this out, go behind some trees, go behind the places that I normally go. Um, and I, I, the video drops a little bit. Uh, Interesting to know as well. Let me uh, while while we're in this menu. Um, interesting to know at twenty five milliwatts. Ah, it's really hot right now. Flicker and then change. So that would number down to yeah. Uh, so quite interesting to see that. A low level the power output is 8 milliwatts but I think it's because it's quite warm right now and I can actually feel it like going down to 25 milliwatts I can already hold it and it's um, it's much better yeah and the power is coming back up 25 19 that's pretty all right uh, what I want to check is if I go to higher channels still 20 so yeah just underneath the arm uh, which is why when I was flying in 25 milliwatts and I did the turn uh, at the end at uh, 190 meters I think more or less uh, you saw that the image went all a bit uh, fuzzy 
Uh, that's because the antenna was in the worst possible uh, position. Also, I made sure I used like a very low um, uh, battery. Uh, so the voltage, as you could see, was very low. The battery was about to finish. Just to make sure again that I'm using every single possible worse um, conditions to make sure that the VTX... Uh, so. Uh, you know, most people will try to say, oh yeah, this, this VATX works so well, but they would use it in the best conditions. Uh, but I, I, I kind of like to do the exact opposite. Uh, so we're sure that, you know, any problems that the VTX might have will be uh, clear and visible. Uh, also on the second run, when I was, uh, uh, I had that 200 milliwatts, I went to a path that most of my quads uh, can't make uh, antenna-wise or uh, VTX-wise, uh, just because the image will go completely off. Uh, and this performed really well. But again, from the tests that I've done before, this is not really outputting 200 milliwatts, it's outputting a lot more, which maybe for some people is good, uh, but I guess if you're flying with friends and you're outputting 200, it might not be, well, you think you're outputting 200, but you're actually outputting maybe 600 or 400. It might not be as ideal um, for your friends. So it's something uh, that you can take in consideration. So yeah, I think given the uh, conditions that I put this through, it performed really well. And if you're gonna fly, uh, obviously you're gonna choose a lot better uh, antennas, probably uh, an Axie would uh, work much better with this setup and just the capability that this has that you can uh, put it behind a camera uh, Fox here or run cam <laughs> Oscar if you're watching I hope you like my troll um, yeah it's 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 a very uh, space saving device the ability to just put, be, put this behind uh, a camera and uh, yeah, and you can you can use this on a micro, uh, and with 800, uh, not 800, sorry, with 600 milliwatt capability, <laughs> your micro is gonna fly very very far away. So I would advise always uh, to make sure that your control capability is always superior to your VTX capability. Uh, otherwise, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna fly away and you're gonna see your drone fall somewhere, but you won't have any control over it. So it's always better to have control over uh, video. That's all for our today's review. I do hope that you have enjoyed. If you do, remember, why not subscribe to this channel? I'm sure that Oscar is subscribed to this channel. Aren't you, Oscar? You sure are, because I know. <laughs> Also, uh, you can check up uh, a couple more videos on this side or that side, maybe this side. I don't know. You kind of figure it out. Clickety-click. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.